Oh, that's another thing. Join a church. Join. We made it so easy for folk just to join. I'm going to join that church. It's harder to join the lodge. It's harder to join a fraternity, a sorority, a softball team than it is a church. <laughs> just anybody. Who sweat will? Let them come. Nobody's turned away. Nobody's told, uh-uh, not him. <laughs> the devil joins churches. Tear them up. Head down to the next one. You can't get us from the outside. We'll stand and fight. Remember, we'll fight on that. Example, somebody try to... Husband and wife, you ever had a fight? Let me see your hand. You ever going at each other, fussing, all right? You fussing, right? You in the middle of the fuss, and somebody shake your back door of the house, y'all in the house. You be like, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, hold on. I mean, you right in the middle of and another thing, and I'm gonna take, what with that, hold on. You go there, you get on that side, I'm going to get on this side, grab the, go get the shotgun, I'm going to get the rake. And you go get, and all of a sudden, y'all back to back with a shotgun and with the rake. You done forgot you're fighting. Because of the attack from the outside. Somebody getting in your space, somebody trying to come into your house. See, as long as the enemy's on the outside trying to come in here, we're going to stand together, we're going to fight. The problem comes when he gets in on the inside. If, if you're the reason for the calamity, because don't think the devil can't use you. And some of y'all that think you're really deep and on the devil's payroll, as calamic and as crazy and as misfit as you want to be and claiming to be spiritually deep and don't know about your mama don't like you. And mamas can love. <laughs> That's my child. Oh, don't talk about my child. Because mamas labor and mamas give birth and mamas sweat. Mamas almost die having them crazy children. They can grow up and act a fool. They can get hooked on crack. They can go to prison. They can go to jail. And I go visit the prisons and I'm sitting in that room and I don't see daddies nowhere. I see mamas sitting there and putting money in that machine and cooking up stuff and helping their children and say, mama going to be here when you get out. So we need to see this because we got to stop making it so easy. And yet we got to make it as easy as we can. You know, the devil led worship in heaven. Getting back to a song. Just because somebody can sing. Don't mean that. Say. Bible said he had pipe organs built into his lungs, that he was the covering cherub, that he was full of onyx and gold. He was adorable. He was goodly to look at. He was, uh, he was his root of his name, Lucifer, light bearer. His root is Hallel, with Hebrew, which shined forth of the boast. And, and he, as it were, made God bigger than what he was. He led the worship in heaven in the face of God. And then one day, he got to talk and he said, you know what, I'm going to put my throne above. This feels good. These folk following me. And the Bible says that when he tried to exalt himself, that Jesus said, I saw Satan as lightning. <laughs> Fell so fast, he wouldn't know how to get back if he had a GPS system from a 2012 Bentley. As lightning out of heaven. 
But the Bible says, it is theorized that he reached back with his tail, which is a sign of influence, and, and grabbed a third of the host of heaven that we now call demons. And led the created beings of worship to God out of the presence of God and into a earthly abyss away and separated from God to eternal damnation forever. The worship leader led people out of the presence of God to damnation forever. The worship leader Worship is ascribed to God. He's worth it. God is to be worshipped. No one else. Nothing else. Nobody else. So when I was pensively looking over my life and receiving the key to the city and awards and all that kind of stuff and people want to applaud that, don't get it twisted. It ain't about what we do. It ain't about what we receive. It ain't about what we have. It ain't about if you didn't get what you got and have what you have because God made it possible and God gets the glory. If God ain't getting the glory out of it, don't follow me because I'll lead you right out of the presence of God. But if God's getting the glory, somebody ought to say, give God the glory for the things that he has done. You can have the trophy. You can have the key to the city. Elder Wood says you need the key to the kingdom. You need the key to the kingdom. You need God's heart. You need to know God. Well, why I want to be able to get in the city hall and I can't get into heaven? Why well, I want to be, be stopped by the police and pull out my key and say, ah, nah, 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 nah. y'all can't give me a ticket and I can't get a ticket to glory. I, 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 need, I need to be sure that when this busy walk of life is over, that I fly away to peaceful shores. 